OK, this weekend's Barclays Premier League fixtures. Let's start um, Arsenal versus Sunderland. Arsenal now, of course, have got the chance on Saturday to go within a point um, of Manchester United. I haven't played the same games. It won't be easy against Sunderland, but they're on a bad run at the moment. I think it's four on the spin for Steve Bruce's side. And I think Arsenal will just have enough, even though they'll have one eye on the Barcelona trip. I think they'll just have enough to win that game. Arsenal to beat Sunderland. Birmingham versus West Brom. I, quite, I thought West Brom were quite impressive um, at Stoke on Monday. Um, I thought the draw was the least they deserved from that game. And maybe Birmingham will just be feeling the effects of um, that Carling Cup final, that great day for them. And I think West Brom might get a much needed victory there. It's West Brom to win at Birmingham. Blackpool versus Chelsea. Um, I think it's the Monday game. And I have to say, I think this will be plenty of goals in this. Great confidence boost for Chelsea against Manchester United. And I think Chelsea might win and win heavily um, at Bloomfield Road. That's a Chelsea win. Bolton versus Aston Villa. It was good for Villa to score uh, those four goals last weekend. Ashley Young looking in great form. But I do think since the arrival of Daniel Sturridge, Bolton have been rejuvenated. And I think they'll win that game now to leave Bolton to win. Fulham versus Blackburn. Um, Steve Keane's sort of regime has been very patchy, it has to be said. You know, it was a, quite a mystery to start with. And now we still don't particularly know what direction... Blackburn are going in. I think Fulham um, are starting to play, you know, half decent under Mark Hughes. Good results at um, the City of Manchester Stadium the other day. I think Fulham to win that game. Fulham to beat Blackpool, uh, Blackburn. Liverpool versus Man United. Game of the weekend, without a doubt. Kenny against Fergie again um, at Anfield. Um, no doubt, it'll be a great atmosphere. But I think United played quite well against Chelsea. But I'm looking to lose that game, and I take them to go to Anfield and win narrowly. Man United to win at Anfield. Manchester City versus Wigan Athletics. Wigan's defending last weekend was amongst the worst I've ever seen uh, in the Premier League against Manchester United. Um, and if they take that sort of form into this game, then City will win that game comfortably. Man City to win. Newcastle v Everton. Massive blow for Everton going out of the FA Cup after such a great result against Chelsea. Um, that might have an effect on them, but I still think they might just be good enough to go to Newcastle against an inconsistent Newcastle and win there. Everton to win. West Ham versus Stoke. West Ham... Um, immensely buoyed by um, by that victory against Liverpool, and you have to say that the arrival, well, the emergence the, of um, Thomas Hitzelsberg and the combination with Scott Parker, that looks like a fairly strong midfield right now. And I think West Ham will get a much needed uh, home victory uh, to go back to back victories at Upton Park. And finally, Wolves versus Spurs. Um, Wolves, I, I think, I've now just got a little bit of momentum from that from that good result last weekend. And I think Spurs might just be running on uh, on, on a bit on a low fuel at the moment. They're not. They, they seem to be just getting by at the moment. And, and they, of course, will be looking ahead to uh, important Champions League games um, over the next couple of weeks. So I go for Wolves to win that game.